So today we're doing some character design in my sketchbook and I feel like I haven't done a character design video in a long time. So this year I really want to draw a lot more than I did last year, especially in my sketchbook and also make like finished pieces. But so far I have been having so many ideas for character design and I really wanted to share like a cute idea that i came up with it's basically this girl as you can see on the screen she has like oranges on her head but i wanted to play around with very like bright colors um almost like sort of tropical colors um but a very like coherent not coherent what is that word consistent consistent um color palette and so i wanted i do want to make a like final piece version of this character like i want to sketch her out and then paint her with like gouache or something um because the colors that i ended up using in this mood board if you will or spread um did not turn out exactly how my idea was supposed to be and so i mean it's still cute but like it's not exactly what i planned anyway so i found a cute pose um I wanted to have her sitting like cross-legged or in at least a very like chill pose so i drew a sketch of her i was not loving it but i was like let's just keep moving on let's see where we go um and i decided to use markers today guys like i haven't used markers in so long most of my markers are so dead no kidding like they they, they are all so dead and like since I don't use them as much anymore, I, I'm not really sure if I want to spend the money to like buy replacements. So I'm thinking of maybe buying like this skin tone pack again and then maybe getting a set of regular colors um, just to have like small packs of each. I think they come in like 24 sets or 18, something like that. The smallest size anyway, um, just to have, you know, but like they're so dried out all my markers they're so streaky and i haven't used them in so long but i was like i really want to use markers today i just want to like play around and do fun stuff um so yeah i'm not really sure where i got the idea for this character i just started drawing with pen and i drew this girl with oranges sitting on her head and i was like this is cute and so um i i want the character to have a very warm feel like when you look at it you like feel warm if that makes sense very warm colors i wanted to play around with almost like a very painterly look to this drawing um which which is different which is definitely like different than i've ever done so i didn't want to do line art once i was done with making the sketch i went in and swatched out all the colors that i wanted um i also added a few more oranges because i thought <laughs> i thought i need more oranges because like that's like the main vocal point and so yeah i i did like a very warm undertone for everything and then i went on top with like the more desaturated colors um it's kind of hard to see on like on camera um in person the colors are way more vibrant and warm but it's honestly just like the room that my desk is in it's the walls are like a grayish blue and i feel like it makes everything i film like really like cold and stark and i kind of hate that but <laughs> whatever <laughs> whatever anyway it still looks warm but it, it it's a it's like a lot warmer irl but anyway so yeah i went in with the skin again i wanted the skin to be very warm and i love how marker looks just on top of colored pencil and i haven't done that in a long time but i really miss doing that like recently i haven't been really like into doing line art that much like i really just like a very soft look and i i want to be able to do line art a bit differently than i've done it in the past like I usually go into the line art in a very sketchy way and I love that. I will still do that sometimes, but I think it just makes the line art much more stark. I used to love doing line art. Nowadays, I'm not really into that look anymore, but that's kind of a whole thing for another video. Anyway, the hair is one of my favorite parts because I went in, first of all, on the edges of the hair with this color. Um, 
I think it's called terracotta. It's from the Skin Tone Who Who set. I'm just doing this off with saying this off the top of my head if like if I remember correctly. Um Yeah, I think it's called terracotta, but I don't remember. Actually, it's right here. Let me see. Yeah, terracotta. Um, and then I went on top with the regular hair color and it kind of looks like an underpainting. Like that was the look I was going for, and then I was like it kind of worked and I love that I love how it looks like an underpainting and so yeah <laughs> I'm really excited about that and then I went in with the oranges I went in with a bright yet dark like a saturated orange color like it was almost like a neon orange but it was dark if that makes sense um and because the brush was so gross and so frayed it almost looked like paint strokes and I was like that is perfect and so on top of that i went in with oh i forget what it's called um i think it's no it's not cadmium yellow i don't remember what it's called guys but it's this color in the skin tone set it it is cadmium yellow yeah cadmium oh that's weird i thought it was cadmium but um yeah so i went on top with that i blended out the orange and that made it like it's also kind of giving like underpainting vibes then when I went in with the greens, I didn't, I could not find the green that I wanted, like the warm green that I usually have. So I was like, okay, I'm going to have to make my own green. So what I did, I tried to use the same shade of green for both the leaves and then also her shirt, which by the way, y'all, I love her shirt. Like that's one of my dream shirts. Um, probably, I'll probably be making a shirt like that this summer because it's so cute. Um, like those old vintage like halter necks yeah um halter tops rather um and so what was i saying um anyway so yeah i was trying to make this warm green and i basically took a bright warm yellow and i colored everything yellow first of all and then i layered the green on top either did that or the other way around i don't really remember now um but yeah, and it made it really warm. It, it was really cool to like make my own shade of green. And I really like that, how that turned out. Um, so yeah, when that was done, I did use line art for the eyes. And y'all, I thought I wrecked it. Like, <sighs> the eyes are my least favorite part. I feel like they look really bad. But they, at the same time, they don't look too bad. But I was kind of regretting it. But then I went in with my colorized pencil again outlined everything again um added blush and shadows then i did like a cool design with a darker green gel pen sort of pen on her shirt so if you look really closely there's like little curly cues on there then i colored her pants yellow because i was like that's so fitting i made pink starbursts around the whole thing um and it was really coming together i was like i love this i added tons of freckles to her because i do that to all my characters and then I added this little quote that I found in a poem, and I do not remember who it was by, I just looked it up online. And I, it, it says, the crushed, segmented sun. And that, I guess, it's, it was like a poem about oranges, but it described it as like the crushed, segmented sun. And I love that so much, it's so pretty. And so, yeah, then I just went in with a sparkly jelly roll pen and added some more starbursts. Um, and this is how it turned out i love it so much i think it's really 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 cute um would you wear this outfit because i would totally wear this outfit if you if you want that's okay but like if it's not your vibe i get that but i feel like it's really cute and i i really like how this spread turned out it was very fun let me know what you think her name should be because i usually don't do things like ocs um but i want to name her and i feel like her name should be yelena or helena but i'm not really sure yet um but anyway thank you guys <laughs> for watching this video i hope you liked it hope you were inspired um yeah thanks for hanging out with me hope you guys have a great day bye